Imagine a world full of color, creativity, and imagination, but beneath the surface it's riddled with mystery, secrets, and conspiracies. Welcome to the art world. The art world, an elusive universe where the canvas speaks volumes and the paintbrush is mightier than the sword. It's a realm where beauty and aesthetics intermingle with intellect, where a single stroke can ignite a revolution, and where masterpieces can embody the zeitgeist of an era. But don't be fooled by the vibrant hues and intricate designs. For beneath the glossy veneer of creativity, there lurks a shadowy underbelly, a place where secrets are hidden in plain sight, where masterpieces are stolen, and where authenticity is often a masterful illusion. Hidden messages for one are as old as art itself. From the Last Supper's alleged hidden meanings to Picasso's cryptic symbols, artists have used their canvases to communicate covertly for centuries. These clandestine messages, often invisible to the untrained eye, have sparked countless debates and theories, adding layers of intrigue to the art world. Then there's the high-octane drama of art theft. Picture this, a priceless masterpiece, a daring heist, an international chase. It's the stuff of Hollywood blockbusters, but it's also a sobering reality in the art world. From the audacious theft of the Mona Lisa in the early 20th century, to the still unsolved Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist, Art theft has left its indelible mark on the annals of art history. And let's not forget the art of forgery. There are those who create, and then there are those who imitate. Master forgers have duped museums, experts, and collectors alike, crafting convincing replicas that blur the line between real and fake. The art world is rife with tales of such duplicity, casting a shadow of doubt over authenticity. So, brace yourselves as we delve into the hidden depths of the art world, a world where nothing is as it seems, where every painting tells a story and every story is cloaked in layers of mystery. Unravel the mysteries of the art world with us. Artists often communicate through their work, but sometimes their messages are not so obvious. It's like they're whispering secrets through their brush strokes, hidden in plain sight for those who know how to listen. Take Michelangelo, for instance, the Renaissance master who painted the majestic frescoes of the Sistine Chapel. It's widely recognized as one of the greatest achievements in Western art. But did you know that it contains a myriad of hidden messages? Michelangelo was a deeply spiritual man, but he was also a critic of the church's corrupt practices. And so, he used his art to voice his dissent. He painted the last judgment scene with a twist, a critique of the church's obsession with judgment and punishment. But he didn't stop there. He also depicted the separation of light from darkness in the Genesis fresco. But look closer and you'll see an anatomically accurate human brain within the image of God. This was Michelangelo's way of asserting that the divine spark of creativity resides within the human mind. And then, there's the most subtle of all, the image of the prophet Zechariah bearing the likeness of Pope Julius II. Some say it was Michelangelo's retaliation against the Pope, who was known for his temper and impatience. But why hide these messages? Why not come out and say it? Well, in those times, criticizing the church could lead to severe punishment, so, artists like Michelangelo use symbolism to express their thoughts subtly, safely. These hidden messages transform the Sistine Chapel from a mere work of art into a bold statement of dissent. They make us realize that art isn't just about aesthetics. It's a medium of communication, a tool for social commentary, a mirror reflecting the artist's innermost thoughts and the society they live in. So next time when you're gazing at a piece of art, try to look beyond the colors and shapes. Try to listen to the whispers of the artist. Because art isn't always what it seems, it often hides a deeper narrative. Art theft, a crime that has captivated the world, often shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Imagine a quiet, moonlit night in Boston, 1989. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, home to artistic masterpieces, sits peacefully. Suddenly, two men disguised as police officers break the silence. They gain entry into the museum, tie up the guards, and embark on a massive art heist that would go down in history as one of the most audacious and baffling cases of art theft ever. They stroll out with 13 artworks, including pieces by Vermeer, Degas, and Rembrandt, worth an estimated half a billion dollars. Fast forward to today, those stolen artworks remain a mystery, their whereabouts unknown. The empty frames still hang in the museum, a haunting reminder of what once was, Theories abound, like wild brushstrokes on a canvas, each more intriguing than the last. Some say the artworks are hidden in the underworld, traded among criminals as a form of untraceable currency. Others speculate that the masterpieces are stashed away in a private collection, hidden from the world's prying eyes. 
but perhaps the most compelling theory is that the heist was an inside job. This theory suggests that someone with intimate knowledge of the museum's security systems orchestrated the theft. But who could it be? A disgruntled employee? A cunning art collector? Or someone entirely unexpected? These theories, while fascinating, offer little comfort to the art community. The stolen masterpieces are not just valuable commodities, they're part of our shared cultural heritage. Their loss is a loss for all of us. As we delve deeper into the world of art theft, we realize it's not just about the thrill of the heist or the potential monetary gain. It's about power, control, and the perverse pleasure derived from possessing something beautiful that the world yearns to see. The allure of art can lead to the darkest corners of human nature. Forgery, the art world's most scandalous secret. Let's delve into the curious case of Han van Meegeren, a man who dared to challenge the art world with his cunning and skill. Van Meegeren was not just an artist, but a master forger who fooled the world with his impressive Vermeer imitations. Van Meegeren's story begins in the early 20th century. He was a struggling artist, often criticized for lacking originality. But Van Meegeren was a man of exceptional talent and a deep understanding of the old master's techniques. He turned this knowledge and his artistic prowess into the craft of forgery. He meticulously studied the works of Johannes Vermeer, a revered Dutch painter. Van Meegeren didn't just copy Vermeer's paintings, he created new ones, perfectly mimicking Vermeer's unique style and technique. His forged Vermeers were so convincing that they fooled art critics, historians, and even the Nazis. One of his most famous forgeries, Christ at Emmaus, was hailed as a masterpiece. It was bought for a staggering amount, equivalent to millions of dollars today, and even displayed in the Boijmans Museum as an authentic Vermeer. It wasn't until after World War II, under the threat of being charged as a Nazi collaborator for selling Dutch cultural property, that Van Meegeren confessed to his forgeries. The revelation sent shockwaves through the art world. It questioned the authenticity of art, shaking the foundations of the art market and collectors' trust. Forgery is not just about creating an imitation. It's about deception, manipulation, and the audacity to challenge the norms. It's a dark corner of the art world, where the line between genius and criminal is blurred. The tale of Han van Meegeren is a stark reminder of the power of forgery. It's a testament to the fact that in the realm of art, not everything is as it seems. It's a world where a forgery can be celebrated as a masterpiece and an unknown artist can become infamous overnight. In the art world, truth can sometimes be stranger than fiction. Behind the glamour and prestige of art auctions lies a world of manipulation and conspiracy. Let's delve into the theories about art market manipulation that have been circling around for years. Picture this, a painting, thought to be a lost masterpiece, suddenly emerges from the shadows. It's hailed as the work of a legendary artist and then sold for an astronomical sum at auction. Sounds like a fairy tale, right? But this is precisely the story of Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci, or so we're led to believe. Salvatore Mundi, or savior of the world, was sold for a staggering $450 million, making it the most expensive painting ever sold. But was it really worth that much? Or was it a case of art market manipulation? Here's the conspiracy theory. Some believe that the art market is controlled by a small group of powerful individuals and organizations. They allegedly inflate the prices of artworks by bidding against each other in auctions, creating a false sense of demand and value. This can then influence the perceived worth of other similar pieces and even the artist's overall body of work. In the case of Salvatore Mundi, the theory suggests that the painting's price was artificially inflated. Doubts about its authenticity and condition were conveniently overlooked, and the narrative of it being a lost da Vinci masterpiece was heavily promoted. This, in turn, led to a bidding war that resulted in its record-breaking price. But why would anyone want to manipulate the art market? The reasons can range from financial gain, tax evasion, and money laundering to gaining social prestige. By controlling the narrative about an artwork's value, these powerful players can turn art into a lucrative investment. In the end, the art market remains a largely unregulated field, susceptible to manipulation. The question of whether Salvatore Mundi was a genuine masterpiece or a product of market manipulation may never be definitively answered. The value of art, it seems, is often in the eye of the beholder. The art world, a realm of beauty and creativity, but beneath its surface, a labyrinth of secrets and conspiracies. As we peel back the layers, it's clear that the art world is not just about aesthetics or appreciation. It's a complex web of messages, thefts, 
forgeries, and market manipulations. Let's take a moment to recap what we've discovered. Art is not just a visual delight, it's a medium of communication. Artists often embed hidden messages in their works, sometimes to express personal sentiments, other times to critique societal norms. These secret codes and symbols add another dimension to art, transforming it into a puzzle waiting to be solved. Then there's the thrilling world of art theft, a high-stakes game that's been played for centuries. It's not just about the money, it's about power, prestige, and sometimes a twisted sense of appreciation for the stolen masterpieces. And let's not forget the master forgers, the skilled artists who can replicate the works of the greats so convincingly that even experts are fooled. They remind us that not everything in the art world is as it seems, and that authenticity is a concept that's often blurred. The art market, too, is not immune to manipulation. Prices can surge or plummet based on the whims of a select few, turning art into a commodity that's bought and sold for profit, rather than appreciated for its intrinsic value. As we unravel the art world, we realize that it's more than just a collection of beautiful objects. It's a mirror that reflects the complexities of human nature, the good, the bad, and everything in between. So, next time you stand before a work of art, look beyond its surface, examine its details, question its history, consider its value. Because there's always more to art than what meets the eye. Remember, in the art world, there's always more than meets the eye. We've delved into the hidden messages, theft, forgery, and market manipulation in the art world. This exploration revealed a side of art often overlooked, yet undeniably fascinating. It's a world where beauty and intrigue intertwine, where every canvas hides a secret, and every masterpiece has a story. It's a reminder that understanding the darker side of art can help us appreciate its depths even more. Subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into the world around us. Together we will continue to uncover the mysteries that lie beneath the surface.